Welcome to another online webmarket.net Photoshop tutorial. I'm Todd Arena. I'm going to show you in three easy steps how to take a normal panoramic image that you shot with either your cell phone, your point and shoot, or your DSLR and convert it into a 3D, 360 degree mini planet style panoramic image. First, what you have to do is you have to flip the image vertically. So we're going to go up to image, image rotation, flip canvas vertical. Now that it's upside down, we want to make this image into a perfect square. So to do that, you go to image, go to image size, or you can hit alt control I on your keyboard. And here we want to set the width the same as the height because we want a perfect square. So make sure these two options here are unchecked, the scale styles and the constraint proportions, and then just match the number what you have on your width as your height. So we're going to have 3600 because our width is 3600. Now we're going to have a perfect square. Don't worry about distortion or pixelation. It's, it's going to work out. Now that we've got our square, we're going to go up to filter, distort. Under distort, you've got polar coordinates. You go to polar coordinates, and when you zoom out, you can kind of already see it happening. It's made a little three-dimensional planet. You, you make sure this option is checked off, rectangular to polar. Click OK. And there you have it. You've got your mini panorama. Now the only problems that you can see here is you've got a little bit of a seam that's kind of harsh. You can spend more time either blending these together, blending this together using uh, the blending tools, uh, the clone tools. We have uh, other tutorials on that if you check out our website, onlinewebmarket.net. But for now, this just gives you a general demonstration of how to do it. Just make sure your panoramic image is kind of the same on the both sides, on the left and the right side. As you can see, the horizon works out better. If, if this side was a little bit lower to match up with this side, you can drag a guide down and you can kind of measure it. So, so use that bit of info to the, from the start when you, when you begin to attempt this. That might help you out a little bit more. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, for more great information, check out onlinewebmarket.net. Thanks.